Hey, good afternoon, everyone. This is the uh, Terex RO70T with the Perkins 403-D. Uh, the one Caterpillar uses. It's a Shibarara Japan motor. Anyway, I put this thing all back together. It's running perfect, but it's got a slight drip since we bought it at the auction. And somebody kind of did a slipshod repair. Anyway, you got to take the timing cover off. Okay, and to take the timing cover off, you have to take the injector pump out and release this clip that goes on here. There's a rod that goes across right here. If you don't, you can't get the timing cover off. You'll break it. Don't force it. It comes off when you release the clip. You got to take this off first. And you got to take the shut-off sign off, off first too. Then the cover comes off. Well, this keyway was sheared on the crank. They had it close, but somehow it was sheared. It's still running. It was tight. But this plate was leaking all the time back in here. A few people have this problem. It leaks, drips motor oil. You can't fix it. It's always dripping out of here. You go nuts. They keep taking these covers on and off. And What I just found out now... You look you put the cover on right see how it's like kind of i don't know if you can see we see how there's an ear here and an ear here in this metal plate well back there's a circ clip see that circ clip that turns that has to be indexed i don't know why they did this but if that's if this is turned this when i took it apart it was over here see and now when you line up the bolts look they don't line up so if you force it over like this, which most people would do, they don't know, and like tighten it up, it, it, it's not going to close the gap in here. It's going to stay open. So you have to turn this clip. Where'd it go? Yeah, you have to turn it. Look, all the way here is an ear on there. I don't know why the Japan did this, but they did. Let me go a little more right there. Look, boom, bingo. Now it's lined up and it's tight against the block. That crease, that's like a 1 16th or maybe a 3 millimeter gap. And you can tighten the bolts as hard as you tighten and it's not going to close. It's going to leak. So they had this thing on and off like four times. I see gasket cement all over the place. The problem with this plate is you can't get this plate off to clean behind it. I had to go behind it with razor blades. It took me an hour to clean behind this in the block. And I got to cut the gasket in two spots to put it behind this plate. Because to get this plate off, you got to take the cam out. To take the cam out <laughs> on this motor, well, there's the injection pump cam part, but the lifters are engaged, and you got to take the cylinder head back off. And I just spent $250 on a head gasket kit, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it the way I do it with the right stuff, Permatex, and cut the gasket in two careful places, and make sure that's indexed so this tight is tight, and then it'll be done. This machine has been. An unbelievable amount of repairs from an auction. Beware, buyer beware at auctions. Somebody slapped this thing together. It runs really nice. It's a good little machine. And it's just about done. So I couldn't let it drip. It dripped like, you know, enough where it'd be like half a cup in an hour. And it'll lead to an engine blowing out. Even though it holds two gallons. Still, you know, you're out in the middle of nowhere. Lip and dripping oil everywhere makes a mess so after all that work we're going to fix it the right way so anyway peace out and i'll give you an update when it's back together and we'll see what happens all right it's hot it's supposed to be thunderstorms but it's a beautiful day out here in the middle of nowhere so okay bye bye